Well, hi everybody, and welcome to another Happy Travellers vlog. Some of you have been asking uh, what a typical day is like uh, while we're living full time in our motorhome. So I thought I'd just uh, give you a little snippet of something that I don't do very often, but it is something that I do now and again, and that is to sharpen all the knives in the kitchen. So uh, all those sort of chef's knives and paring knives and stuff like that. Um, when you're trying to cut things up, if you've got a blunt knife, firstly, it can be really, really annoying. Secondly, it can be quite dangerous as well. Contrary to what a lot of people might believe is that sharp knives are more dangerous than blunt knives. Well, here's the thing. If you have, if you have a knife like this, um, which is my very favourite, it's a uh, what is it? It's a Prestige. No, it's a Le Creuset um, chef's knife, and it's really nicely well balanced, really nice to hold, but it can get pretty blunt. Um, and what what we find is if you're if you're trying to cut if you're trying to cut through something like an avocado skin, it can like not go through and it can slip off and it will be still sharp enough to jam into your finger uh, and and remove a bit of skin or you know cut and draw blood never a good thing with knives but if it's sharp it just goes straight through now i haven't sharpened this one um for ages and ages and ages actually and it's it's still um you can still feel the edge but how do we sharpen it? Well, I have what's called a sharpening stone. I'll just show you that. I'm, I'm getting it prepared. It actually, it's a whetstone. So uh, I leave it soaking in the sink for um, maybe five minutes. So here it is. Let's push, pop you down that way. So here it is. Um, you see it's got uh, two sides um, this is the the first side we use and that's rougher um, and I think that is a that's a 210 grit uh, so if you imagine sort of sandpaper or wet and dry this is the the rough side although it's still you know you'll see it's pretty smooth but you can feel it on this side this is um, a thousand grit and that feels that just feels like a piece of uh, really really smooth stone but the way to use these is to go on the rough side first just to take the edge and then a little a little go over on the smooth side to give it that really smooth sharpness but let's get on with a bit of sharpening and I like to sort of leave it in the water and and really sharpen from there there is a technique to it you need to have the knife at um, sort of a 20 degree angle when you're sharpening now there is a holder for it so you could put that on the bench and it's much safer to do that um, I find it a bit more difficult to do it that way. Well, it's looking pretty easy now, but what I do like to do is to hold it. Now, you do need <laughs> to be very careful if you're holding it. You don't want to hold it up there because you can imagine what would happen with a really sharpened knife if you go like that. You can cut yourself on those on those strokes and don't forget these fingers here as well they can get chipped and chopped so for safety if you've got one of these pop it in the holder I say I feel more comfortable uh, in the in the hand um, but I like to you know just get it get it nice and wet and then give it a good going up and down Do 
you'll see um, on here the, the colour of the stone sort of coming off and that's when you know it's really working I've had this stone for maybe about five years now and it's uh, it's worked really really well and you'll see some of the some of the edges are worn off where I've sharpened other things other more substantial things and you'll I don't know if you can notice the the wearing down in the in the center of that if you yeah maybe so once you've done on that side you can then flip the stone over and give it a bit of a rinse and go on to the smooth side and then you're just really taking off that ragged edge that the rough stone puts on it and I'd spend a lot more time actually if I wasn't filming this I'd spend <coughs> maybe three or four times the amount of time I've shown you I'm just sharpening this one knife and really making sure that it was nice and nice and sharp so that's what I do I go through all the knives and uh, just let me get that half an avocado again you saw how that wasn't really going through um, before maybe you did maybe you didn't but it it really does slice through that and once you've got it on a, a flat surface it just slides through let me show you I'll put that down there maybe zoom into that a bit and then show you Uh, it just it just slides through that it's almost no pressure at all um, let me I, I don't know if you like avocado uh, we do they're pretty cheap over here well, look at that wafer thin avocado that you can cut with a nice sharp knife so really really a great thing to do there that's me just eating the, <laughs> the avocado I've sliced up there so that's uh, one of the mundane things that we do um, I've spent some time out in the sunshine today listening to podcasts and generally relaxing, um, preparing the uh, videos to, to be uploaded to YouTube and then recording this and showing you uh, that sort of stuff. So if you have enjoyed the mundane things that we do as we live full time in our motorhome, pretty much no different to anybody else living in a house um, please give us a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe well that's it for today thanks so much for watching and uh, i hope i've given you a few tips on how you can sharpen your knives it really does work well uh, way better i think than the metal roller things that you pull your knives through less uh, aggressive uh, it's a nice therapeutic thing to do to to really um, get those knives crisp and sharp and uh, really much easier to use. I'll see you again soon. Thanks for watching. Bye bye for now.